Hey, my name is Sajad, and welcome to the Sunan Weekly Podcast, where we share with you some of the awesome projects we are working on, along with some of our biggest takeaways this week. Here, we want to give you a chance to see how we are making a difference so that we can all level up. Hey, hope everyone is doing well. Welcome back to the next round of the Sunan Weekly Podcast. What are we working on? Wow, it's been a crazy past two weeks for us here at Sunan. The first awesome news that I want to share with you is the launch of Sunan 2.0. Over the past few months, our team has been pouring their heart out and energy in creating a better Sunan experience for you. One that provides even more value, but better positions you, the Sunan community, to take on the opportunities that are out there. Some of these new awesome features include a brand new and completely redesigned site, a brand new product, which I'm really excited about called Sunan Marketing, uh, our new Sunan podcast, our revamped portfolio, case studies, and so much more. Check it out at sunandesigns.com and please let me know your thoughts. The past two years have been an incredible journey for us here at Sunan. We've reached new levels of growth in every aspect and I'm very proud of our team for what we've been able to accomplish thus far. But guess what? We are just getting started. Secondly, we dropped two awesome blog posts this week called The Difference Between Print and Digital Arts and number two, How to Build a Strong Brand Identity. In today's ever-changing digital world, Your brand is what sets you apart from the competition. So the question is, how do you go about building a strong brand? Check out the article to learn more. Personally, I think step five is crucial. In fact, if you can tie in a greater value proposition here, you have a solid and a winning strategy. Thirdly, we dropped another awesome guide titled How to Grow Your Facebook and Instagram Followers. Ever since Facebook and Instagram have been around, they have been super important for marketers, entrepreneurs, and literally any business on earth. Facebook has an astounding 2.3 billion monthly active users. Get this, that's nearly 30% of the world's population. Same way, Instagram is one of the most important social media platforms, especially for strengthening your brand and giving you a better position in the marketplace. So as a leading design and marketing firm, we have put together this complete guide for growing your followers both on Facebook and on Instagram. Make sure you get your copy today. Oh, and uh, one thing I forgot to mention. To celebrate our launch of Sunan 2.0, we are running a 20% promo. Use promo code SUNAN20 by July 24th to receive a 20% off your first month subscription. My biggest takeaway this week, why your business needs a value ladder. The idea and marketing strategy behind a value ladder continues to amaze me. Essentially, a value ladder is a framework for mapping out your product or service visually in an ascending order based on value and price. So a value ladder allows you to cater to your client's needs no matter where they are in your customer journey map. So at the, at the very bottom of your value ladder, you want to offer a product or service that is practically free. The idea behind this is to give them exposure to who you are and provide them some sort of value in return. So for example, this could be a free PDF download which addresses an issue that your client may be facing, but in return, they're giving you their name and email address. Now, as your client ascends your value ladder, the value and the price will increase accordingly. The mistake that many businesses make is that they limit their product and services, but more importantly, they don't look at their products or services from the lens of a value ladder. So for example, imagine that you are in the fitness industry and you provide some and you provide workout videos to help your clients get in the best shape that they've ever been in their life. Now, if the only thing that you offered was a 8 weeks total body workout series, let's say for $49, you would be missing out on so much more sales. Yes, there is one approach where you could just do mass market sales at just a $49 product. But rather, if you shifted your perspective to a value ladder approach, you would have so much more sales, but also you would be making so much more of an impact in the marketplace. So for example, someone who has completed the eight weeks course now has received tremendous value from you. Now, what if you could offer them something even more from a value perspective that would make them feel even greater about themselves and see even better results? Chances are that they would really want to opt in for this additional upsell. The goal is to keep moving them up the value ladder and to keep providing them some awesome value and in return, you would be making even more profit. So for example, our next step could be a subscription to a, for example, a personal coaching program where your clients have direct access to a certified coach who will create a customized solution that will get them get your client in the best 
best shape that they've ever been in their life. They can finally get that Hollywood physique that they're after. See, it's that it's really that simple. You just have to map out your value ladder and ensure that you have a strategy in place to take your customer from the bottom of the value ladder all the way to the top. That, my friends, is the value ladder. So as we as marketers and entrepreneurs have to start looking at our services strategically and from a value ladder perspective. At Sunan, we think of our designs and marketing services the exact same way. And in fact, I'm actually going to give you an illustration here in the description, the link below, where you can you actually see you where you can actually see the value ladder for Sunan. So as you can see, the first step in our value ladder is to provide something at no cost, but provide some sort of value to our reader. So for us, these are detailed guides that can be found here. In exchange for these guides, we collect personal names and email addresses. Within these guides, we are hyper focused and in providing value that is centered around graphic design, but then also digital marketing. Now, as you start moving up the value ladder, we start providing more and more value to our clients that will help move the needle in their life and in their business. Now, all the way at the top of our value, value ladder, we offer a personalized coaching program that provides even more value and is the highest price tag in terms of the offerings that we offer. A big mistake most people make is to focus on the price rather than the value. It's called a value ladder for a reason, not a price ladder. You should focus on your clients and how, and how your different services will deliver more value to them. Now it's your turn. Look at the products and services that you are offering and see how you can leverage the value ladder to provide more value to your clients. Your goal at the end of the day is to deliver more value to your clients and make more money in the process. Truly a win-win scenario for you and your clients. Time to level up.